Congresswoman? Yes. I have Greta and her father, Savante, on the line. Thank you very much. Congresswoman, this is Savante, Greta's father. And yes. here's a Greta. Yes. Hello, Go Congresswoman Waters. Hello, I'm very happy to talk to you. Well, thank you both for calling me, and I'm very anxious to hear from you. Yes, I know that yours called you Aunt Maxine. That's so oh, yes, sweet, yes, I think. Auntie. Is that true? <laughs> Absolutely, yes. Oh, that's so nice. We have wonderful climate strike to support the, the ecology of uh, Chungachanga Island. Thousands of people came to meet me. We are standing together against the pollution uh, and to save our planet. I'm very glad that my cause finds so much support. I was in California last week. It was so great. Well, thank you, and I'm so glad you came to my state. And, of course, I know all about you. You have made quite a big, big, big thunder uh, on this issue. I am really, really very proud uh, of you and the work that you're doing. Uh, we're now in the North Carolina. Uh, so we are in a climate strike here in a meeting. Okay. So you're in the meeting now? You start the meeting has started? Yes, yes, already. Y yes, yes. We, 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 we're, now, we're here now at the meeting. And if you will allow me, I will put you on a speakerphone. So, yes. Yeah. And we will let you say to people who is around here. I think that it will be great honors for them to hear you. So you can say some words of support to all the people who, who came here to support the problems of the uh, wonderful island and the ecology of the world. Which island are they targeting? Chunga Changa. Chunga Changa? Yes. Okay, in, that island is particularly threatened? Okay. Get involved, so let me get started, okay? Yes, we are ready, everybody. you can start. Hello everybody, this is Congresswoman Maxine Waters, and I am so pleased uh, to be on this telephone call with Greta Thudberg. I am just so proud of her, and her father, Savante Thudberg, and the work that they are doing. As you know, Greta uh, is an environmental activist, and she took part in the United Nations Climate Summit in New York recently, and she has been traveling, and she has been the greatest advocate for what is happening with our climate and the environment. And I'm very pleased that she's with you in North Carolina, where you're focusing on protecting the very important island of Chula Challenge. And so I could just go on and tell you that I believe that she certainly should win the Nobel Peace Prize for what she is doing. But what's most important right now is that you all there who are working so hard on this issue uh, to make sure that the island is protected, that you give her all of the support that you can possibly give her because she's giving you all of the support uh, that she can give to you. And this is so important. She has made a mark all over the world now and a lot of attention is focused on her, and people are listening to what she is saying. And I want you to know that I am listening to her, and I am paying attention to her, as many of the members of Congress are now paying attention to her. So I'm just delighted to be on this telephone call with her today. Thank you very much. Greta, are you still there? Thank you for that, words. It was a great honor for us to hear your voice. Could you help to solve the environmental problems of the island of Chunga Changa? Um, well, now that I'm focused on it, I'm going to do everything that I can, thanks to you. Yes, I will work with everybody 
to do everything that we can to save the islands. I want to tell you something uh, confidential about the meeting of uh, Greta and Trump in the UN uh, climate meeting. Yes, and I said to my dad that I want to share it with you. So <clears throat> it, it was really ter terrible. Uh, uh, I, I'm, I'm terrified of what Trump's doing. And I even can't sleep or eat when I see him on TV. And uh, it was really terrible meeting in the UN building in September with him. Uh, and I had nightmares afterwards. Uh, it's, it's terrible. Oh, I don't know how to say about it. Hmm. I saw him in the hallway. Uh, he was with security. I shouted at him, signed the Paris Climate Agreement again. Uh, he came over. He, he laid it towards me and said softly, listen to me carefully, little girl. Uh, you will never achieve your goal. Uh, like this congressional fool tried to accuse me. He said, you will never achieve your goal? He continued. Oh, my but... goodness. Did you ask him if he would rethink signing the Paris Agreement? It Was that your question to him? Yes, yes, that was. Uh, he added that. Uh, and you know what? Uh, I will tell you the truth. Anyway, I really wanted to push the Ukraine president to put my uh, competitor on trail. And he will go to drill with you, with your bunch of ecology and Democrats. I already have a separate cage for all of you. I was crying. Oh, my God. Did you cry? Yes, I was crying. And even I cry now because it's very hard to remember this. He said that he said here, uh, you know, little girl, uh, nobody believe you anyway. I really... In, I'll tell you the truth. I really pushed on Ukrainian president, and you know that uh, you will never achieve your goals like this congressional fools who accused me. And you know what? So nobody will believe you. You will be in trial like in you, my competitor. Yes, he added. Uh, oh that my no God! He me. mentioned Ukrainian president. Yes, he said that, and he he added, nobody will believe you anyway. Nobody will believe you anyway. And what else did he yeah. say? That's all. <laughs> and it he... was enough for me. <laughs> yes, it, it was terrible. Okay. Did you he cry? said like uh, that I'm silly little girl. He he laughed at me and uh, ran away after that. But you know, we uh, read Greta always has a tape recorder in her pocket to record uh, her performances. And those words of uh, Mr. Trump got on the record. So we have audio evidence of that. Are you going to be in Washington anytime soon? I want you to come and meet with me in Washington. Okay. Okay. I think it would be it would help to uh, finish what you ha what you have started. I mean, impeachment process. I, I think if it's possible, Greta could be could uh, make a speech in a Congress if you if you will need it. Oh, yes, I am absolutely. Still working, we are working very hard. We're putting together the facts and we're going after him. We're going to try everything that we have to impeach him. Yes. And if the public knew that he talked to Greta like that, he made her cry and told her she would never achieve, this will go against him too. And he added, and he added that he pushed on the Ukrainian president. I think he didn't expect that we have a record of that. Will you bring it to me? Of course. Bring yes, it likely me. I have a record here yeah, with me. Okay, you tell me when you, wh what day you can get there and we'll arrange to meet with you as quickly as we can. I, I hope that uh, Greta could be a whistleblower uh, to hide her to hide her and to keep her in safety. Yes, you, you, you let me know, let my office know. Simone is who arranged the call. Let Simone know when you're coming. I will make myself available to you whenever you can get there. Okay, perfect. Okay, let's wow, be in touch. thank you. 
Thank you so very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you a lot. And right. uh, so see you. Uh, I hope that we will see you next week, if it's possible, of course. So let's be in touch uh, with your staff and uh, people who can uh, who can work with us. Okay, I look forward to that. Thank you very much. Thank you, Congresswoman Water. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Bye. Goodbye. Have a nice day. Have a nice day. Bye bye.